What's going on, Aquas? How you doing, boo-boo? How you doing, handsome? How you doing, sexy? I hope all is well with everyone on this beautiful Saturday or whatever day you get to see this message. Even if it's raining outside, it's still beautiful. If it's snowing, it's still beautiful. If it's windy, it's still beautiful, okay? Because Aquarius, you are amazing. <laughs> oh my God, thank you so much for tuning into Miss Mood's Motivational Tarot. It is your girl, Miss Mood. I thank you so much if this is your first time coming to the channel. Please have a seat, get comfortable, and see if this message resonates with you, Aqua. Okay, for those of you who've been working with me, sitting with me, listening with me, watching with me, I appreciate all the love, the likes, the shares. Thank you for hitting that notification bell and subscribing to the Mood Tribe family if you are not already, okay? Um, ancestors of my highest good and light, ancestors of Aqua's highest good and light, thank you so much for your clarity, your wisdom, your divine protection over Aqua and my crown chakra to the sole of our feet, as above, so below. Let's go. All right, Aqua, let me clear this energy really quick around you, around you, Aqua. Yes, I don't know why I'm in this sing-along, you know, Melody energy for you. Maybe somebody's name is Melody. That's an aqua. How you doing, Melody? <laughs> I hope all is well, boo-boo. Please leave a comment if you do see this message and it resonates and your name is Melody, okay? All right, aqua, let's see what spirit want to talk about because I don't want to keep you. I know you got things to do, places to go, and people to see, Okay. All right, so I'm going to pull from the Cosmic Oracle to see what Spirit wants to talk about for you. Bear with me one second to shuffle. I really appreciate you guys' love, your respect, your energy on the channel, the comments, the, you know, testimonies. All right, the likes, the shares. I really do appreciate it, Aqua. Y'all really do be looking out for your girl, Miss Moo. Thank you, Spirit. I thought I saw a card up, but we don't care because we're going to fix it if we come across it. How about that? If it's meant, it's meant. All right, let's go ahead and cut the deck, Aqua. At the bottom of the deck, we have water sign, aqua. You dealing with a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio? Listen, I did. <laughs> I did a Pisces uh, reading, so definitely go check that out. But aqua, you also came up in Capricorn's reading with Pisces, so check that out, okay? And we have an Earth sign. Didn't I just fucking say? <laughs> Oh my God! I was not even looking. I was just talking. And you got the sign number, um, the number eleven. You are the eleventh house. Giving, give it time. Everything is uh d diving, diving timing. Let things flow. I feel like they meant divine timing. So, I guess I'm just pulling right because this is just coming out. I don't even have to do the whole shuffle. <gasps> I do because you see how that card is the other way. All right, so. Wow, we got our right, vacation here. Oh my god, and I got commitment. Lord, what's going on? So, I feel like you're definitely um attracting a water sign, earth sign, someone with strong water and earth in their chart. Aqua, okay, or you could be um Aquarius with strong earth sign, definitely calling in a water sign and vice versa take it how it resonates okay mm -mm -mm. i got three elements in this during reading air earth and water that's a whole new world look i can't make this shit up i'm gonna put the world right here that's my little globe okay we're gonna put that right there because <laughs> this is about two different energies earth and water with aqua okay and like I said, Aqua, you embody one of these energies in your birth chart. So go check that out. Okay. All 
Um, what did I say? Three elements. I'm going to just put three elements because I don't know what spirit want me to say, but it'll come to me. All right. So spirit is saying these two go together and give it time. You're definitely going to have time with each other with vacation and commitment is going to be on the table. What's the potential outcome? <clears throat> What's the potential outcome? Oh, it's right here. Communicate, compromise, forgive, or work it out. All right. So, I don't really know, but we're going to pull one more. I wasn't expecting that, but the communication. Y'all have to talk about this commitment. This could be something that's sprung on you, Aqua, or you're springing it on someone. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Thank you, Spirit. Look how that just popped up. Challenges. Yeah. Make a decision. Work on inner healing. So I feel like there will be some challenges. This is why it's important for you guys to communicate. While you're on this vacation, commitment will be on the table. And Spirit is saying what's unexpected or hidden is that you, you're going to have to realize that you got to give this time. All right. At the bottom of the deck, we have sexuality. Someone is still figuring themselves out. So you could be on this transition, transformation. And this is why this person is coming into your life to teach you some things and elevate you, boo-boo. Okay, so let's see what the tarot is talking about with these cards. Let's get some clarity. Thank you, sir. I hope everyone is doing well. Aqua, I know you noticed that my space have expand for your viewing and entertainment purposes. It gives me the opportunity to really go within and give you all the messages. Before I was feeling claustrophobic, but you guys were still rocking with me when I was doing it. Okay, we have the king of wands. Okay, so this is fire energy. I feel like a strong attraction between you and them. Wow. Thank you, Spirit. <clears throat> um, we definitely have the Queen of Swords. See, this is you, Aqua. Okay. Yes. Very attracted to you, and you are attracted to them. Mm. I feel like this reading is so delicious. Yes, Spirit. Oh, I got to write those things down because they just be coming to me. I feel like you two together are delicious. <laughs> One more time. Thank you, Spirit. And the last but not least, we do have the Knight of Swords. Yeah. Fast moving. I feel like this relationship is going to build momentum. If you haven't met this person yet, you are about to bubble. Yes, you are. But I feel like some of you have already met this person. And it's like, wow, you know, you are so mates. You are connected. Okay. You are divine kindred spirits, okay? Here to make something, do something. Spirit says, look, the three of pentacles build. I told you. Didn't I say three elements, okay? You got air, water, earth, okay? Yeah, man. All right. So let's talk about the spirit. What about this water sign and earth sign? What's the current energy for the water sign and the earth element? Please and thank you. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Cancer, Pisces, and Scorpio. That just popped out like, it's my turn. <laughs> oh, you got the Six of Swords. Spirit is saying this is necessary transition. Okay, clear waters, peace, all right? Um, the, 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 the calmness after the storm. You guys have been through some things in life. And um, you're both each other's healers. You're going to heal each other in this relationship. This is so cute. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, sir. <laughs> All right. And then you have the nine of wands. Didn't I say you're both healers? Didn't I say y'all been through something? I cannot make this shit up. I hope y'all can see it. I know the light. I'll be, I'll be trying. Let me see. Let's do it like that. Yeah. So you both the healers, you're both looking to definitely um, go on this journey together, even though you've been through a terrible storm. That's why I said the calm after the storm. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. 
Y'all know I be writing stuff down because y'all reading be so juicy and delicious, okay? Somebody could be going by the name Delicious. I feel like that's a nickname, uh, alias. Um, you have the Seven of Wands, okay? So I really feel like some of you are definitely going to be protective over each other. Spirit, can we clarify the Seven of Wands, please, and thank you? Wow. <laughs> We have the Queen of Swords, yeah. So this person is definitely going to be protective over you. And you're going to be protective over this water sign or earth sign or somebody with water or earth in a chart. Very strong and very heavy. You guys go together like peanut butter and jelly. Yes, I love it. Okay, Spirit, anything else? Anything else for the current energy with this divine soulmate this kindred spirit tell us anything else about this water sign pisces cancer scorpio earth sign capricorn virgo and taurus anything else nine of swords up in your head who's up in their head what's wrong all right so we have the three of cups and we have the six of cups Hmm. So you're up in your head because you have a connection with somebody from your past with the Six of Cups. You're up in your head because, you know, the Three of Cups can be about, you know, support. <coughs> <coughs> I want to clarify the Three of Cups and the Six of Cups. Can we clarify? Thank you. You have the Nine of Cups. Okay, yeah. This person is your wish fulfillment. And even though you have this connection with somebody from your past, um, <clears throat> thank you. You have a connection with somebody in your past. You're getting justice and getting a new opportunity to build something new with someone else. Yeah, children are involved as well. So that's what I'm feeling. Um, <clears throat> that's why Spirit is saying give it time. Okay. Everything is divine timing. Let things flow. Don't worry about the people that you're connected to in your past. You still going to have your, your boo-boo. Okay, Aquarius? Or vice versa, okay? This still is the person that you should be with, all right? <clears throat> I don't even know if y'all can see that over there, but I will show it to you when I get to it. All right, so let's talk about giving it time. Spirit, oh, I got the cards backwards. Sorry. Spirit, can we talk about give it time? Give it time. Spirit, as they give it time, what is hidden? What is coming out? What is transitioning? As they give this time, what will transition between these two soulmates, these two kindred spirits, this relationship? What will transition as they give it time? You got the two of swords. You're going to have to definitely make a decision because you're going to be stuck in your head as you give things time. Right? So during this time that you're giving things time, you got the four of cups <clears throat> being unfulfilled. Waiting for your your emotional fulfillment to come in. With the Nine of Cups is there. But you're not sure if you're going to get it. Because why? What's, what's happening? Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify the Two of Swords with the Four of Cups? Thank you, Spirit. Can we clarify the Two of Swords with the Four of Cups? For the collective, okay? Stepping out on faith with this new person. Maybe you've been hurt in the past, especially with this healing. Thank you, Spirit. What is going on? Stop. <laughs> oh, yes. Ace of Pentacles. I can't make this shit up, okay? Spirit is definitely letting you know that as you give it time, there's going to be a leg up from Spirit. A big offer, a big opportunity, something that will allow you guys to fulfill each other's uh, wish fulfillment with the Ace of Pentacles, okay? I'm going to clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Spirit, can we clarify the Ace of Pentacles? Thank you. What I say, the marriage is happening. <laughs> 
That's the four of wands. I can't make this shit up. The connection is happening. Okay? Marriage is on the table. It's out here. Commitment. <clears throat> and the reason why you know that's true, because look, when y'all go on this vacation, as you give it time, and y'all actually, it takes time to plan a vacation, because you don't want just any smuggler, anything. You want to be in the right destination, the right environment. You want all the elements, okay? That's why I say you got three elements, water, earth, and air. That sound like paradise to me. Mm, 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 mm. Let me put these cards down. <laughs> Okay, paradise to me. <clears throat> Spirit is saying when you're in the right destination, in the right environment, with the right person, you get clarity, you get understanding, you get truth. My candle just dripping. It's dripping, y'all. Oh, look, I had, y'all, I'm getting candle readings all day. So, I forgot whose time did I do that with, and the candle drip for the first time. And I was like, wow. So, I don't know. You know what? <laughs> oh, I don't know what I want to say. <laughs> y'all decide what this look like to y'all. I, I know what it looks like to me, but we're going to be polite, okay? Um, I'm going to put this over here, and we're going to talk about that before the reading is over. Mm-mm-mm-mm. On this vacation, this is definitely coming out, Aquarius, okay? Um, whether you have it or they have it, but it's definitely coming out on this vacation, okay? Because we got vacation and commitment, okay? This person is really going to let you know with the Two of Pentacles how they're about to balance your world out, okay? They go two. So two, two, two can definitely be significance because you have the two of swords and the two of pentacles out here. Spirit, can we clarify these two of pentacles? Can we clarify the two of pentacles, please and thank you? Right? <clears throat> There's many different options for you guys to pursue and be with each other. Um, but on this vacation, I feel like this person, dang, they both fell. Hold on. This person is definitely coming to balance you out or you're coming to balance them out or you're going to balance each other out is what I'm picking up. You have the six of pentacles. Didn't I fucking just say equal give and receive? And then you have the five of pentacles, right? You guys are both lonely souls, okay? Traveling this world, looking for each other. And now that you've gotten each other, it's like, dang. Right, we still got these obstacles, we still got this issue, we still got things coming up, but this vacation is to ease your mind, okay? Balance you out. That's why the six of pentacles is here, okay? Giving you equal give and take. This person got a flower behind their back, they got an offer that they want to give you, they want to show you something, they want to show you how dear you are to them, okay? I love it. This is so pretty. Anything else about this vacation, this commitment? Can we talk about this commitment, Spirit? What about this commitment? What is what is the commitment? What is the outcome of the commitment? Please and thank you. <clears throat> you got the two of wands. Didn't I say waiting for results? This person is going to be waiting for you to say something. Two, two, two. I can't make this shit up. Okay? Um... <clears throat> This is crazy, y'all. Thank you, Spirit. And when you look at the number 11, um, you're going to see two, okay? I cannot make this up. And the number 11 is on your card, okay? That's a two, all right? That's partnership, marriage, okay? Spirit is saying, look, the Knight of Cups, I can't make this shit up. Proposal. So they're going to propose to you on this vacation, Aquarius, or you're going to propose to them. Okay, and when that happens, here come the communication and the challenges. How are we going to do this? How are we going to make this work? You know what I'm saying? Um, <clears throat> make a decision working on inner healing, right? It's going to have you all over the place. Like, I want this. This is my wish fulfillment. But I'm connected. I'm tired. I got this person to think about. Like I said, if you have children involved, I can definitely see where that will come in because you want to give them the big yes. But, you know, you got to think about every decision you make when you have children. 
right? Or if they have children, you have children, Aquarius, however it may be. But the Three of Pentacles says it's going to work out fine because that's building, okay? Definitely building, definitely connecting, definitely prospering. Can we clarify? Thank you. I like how your card's just popping out. You got the Page of Pentacles. Then I say children are involved. Yes, they're going to love this person. Mm, they're going to love this person. If it's your children, or they're going to love you, Aquarius, if it's their children. <clears throat> You got the eight of pentacles. Didn't I say? Working together. Y'all going to build together. It's going to work. That's a lot of pentacles right there. After the six of pentacles came out, look how it went. Okay? Boom. King of cups. I can't make this shit up. Balanced energy. Full of love. King of cups reminds me of the ten of cups. I'm going to be real with you. Anything else, spirit, with this king of cups? Thank you. Look, you have the Queen of Wands. That's the pair right there, okay? Moving with love and emotion, devotion, action. Okay, that's action. That's um, being creative, being, you know, um, confident. <clears throat> you guys look good together. You got the King of Cups. That's someone who's balanced. And then you, and that's the water sign. And then you got the Queen of Wands. I told you the action. Then we have the King of Wands out here. Or we saw it in the pre-shuffle. I don't want to pick and choose and pull. You got the Queen of Swords right here. Yeah, no. I don't remember. But I know the King of Cups is here too. See, the King of Cups is here too. And then you got the King of Cups. Wait a minute. You got the King of Cups here. And who is this? The Nine of Cups. Wish fulfill me. What I'm talking about, King of Cups. <laughs> All right. So we definitely do have a male and female, masculine and feminine energy. Regardless, one is coming in with love. The other one is coming in with action and creativity. And I feel like that's what's going to happen within this union. Um, everyone who's connected to you, especially immediate family, they're definitely going to connect with you and adore this union. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else, Spirit, with the Queen and King? I love it. This car looks so beautiful. Anything else for Aquarius with the King and Queen? Wow. Eight of Wands. Yeah, communication. Y'all going to be telling the news. Y'all going to be talking about the engagement, the marriage. Oh, this is so nice. Thank you, Spirit. Eight of Wands. <clears throat> Okay, a lot of communication, a lot of good news. Ace of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Didn't I fucking say? Okay, that spirit saying, I'm giving you legacy. This is the opportunity for you to have a new beginning with somebody that's going to be your life partner. I can't make this shit up. All right? And then you have sexuality over here. Remember I told y'all before? Let me pull it. So you have sexuality. You have a fire sign. See, somebody has fire in their chart because that's why we saw the Queen of Wands. Um, we have Gold Digger. So, somebody could have somebody that's a fire sign that's a Gold Digger. Um, I want to clarify Gold Digger. And we have a lost loved one watches over you. All right, so... <clears throat> I feel like, you know, you ain't got nothing to worry about, but we're going to clarify the gold digger because I do feel like um, with guardian angel, um, it could be a fire sign, a uh, family member that's a guardian angel, um, but this gold digger could be a fire sign as well. So I want to clarify this gold digger. Who is this gold digger? <laughs> Who is this gold digger? Thank you, spirit. Who is this gold digger? I knew it was a queen, the queen of pentacles. Look how that shit came out. <sighs> okay, so there's a gold digger in the, in the hidden, in the hiddens, behind the scenes. <clears throat> and the queen of pentacles is fruitful and multiplies. Gold digger, fire sign, queen of pentacles. All right. Sarah, can we clarify this? This gold digger, can we clarify this queen of pentacles or this fire sign that's a, wanting growth, wanting uh, stability? Who is this person, Spirit? <clears throat> you have the nine of pentacles. So we have the, you have the nine of cups and this person has the nine of pentacles. So this is a single, this is somebody that is very, um, 
very stable, but they're stable off of other people's money. And because you're now connecting with this person, this person is no longer going to be able to have access to that money. Can we talk about it? Because I didn't even know this was coming out. We got the page of swords. Yes. Clarity is going to come out. This person you're dealing with is going to let this person know. Um, <clears throat> I don't want to be connected to you. Um, I don't know. Like I said, somebody has children. So maybe they feel some kind of way with the child support. You know, it's, it's messed up that you have some parents that depend on child support from the um, child's parent. And that's how they live, right? So this person you're connecting with, like I said, could have children. <clears throat> but some clarity is definitely coming in and um you have the seven of pentacles okay so with the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles so this person does pay child support okay thank you spirit i was like who is this gold digger so this is the baby mama or the baby daddy i don't know <laughs> anything else spirit thank you five of cups then i say they ain't gonna be getting it like that no more i don't know what's going on but something good is going and look six of wands at the bottom of the deck i can't make this shit up it's victory so you ain't got nothing to worry about because you have a guardian angel and their ancestors when y'all connect both y'all ancestors get together to make this shit happen okay and spirit is saying it's coming about the temperance i can't make this shit up balance okay i cannot make it up Look, five of swords, they cutting shit, slicing shit down. No, you is not doing this. You are not trying to disconnect this couple, okay? You have everything under the sun backing you guys up. So that's why spirit is saying have no fear because spirit is here. Come on, spirit. You are coming through. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. All right, Mercury, Mercury retrograde is here. Spirit is saying, I don't know when our next Merc Mer uh, Mercury retrograde is, but look it up. But Spirit is saying, find out more information. Don't overwork yourself during this time because you know how Mercury retrograde is. So that's for some of you, but you are definitely moving with this person and there's a honeymoon and somebody has to move on. Oh, child, I can't make this shit up. I want to just take a picture and make this the thumbnail, but <laughs> okay, so yeah, somebody has to move on. Okay, it's over. Yeah, this person was connected to them on a, um, on, on, on a level through the kids being toxic and narcissistic okay let's go ahead and see what animal spirit you should um activate i'm gonna just say this because you know this looks like a whole hmm. you know those microscopes I'm, I'm picking up a microscope a microscope Let's be positive. I'm picking up a microscope, okay? I feel like somebody's definitely going to be looking things over with a microscope, okay? So, that's for some of you. Thank you, Spirit. This was good and juicy. Because, you know why I'm happy? Because it still works out for your good, Aqua. Ain't nobody coming to take your blessing. What's for you is for you. And nobody can take that away. Nobody. I don't care who's in the past, who's in the future, even if it's your baby daddy, okay? No, no more. Thank you, Spirit. Spirit, what should Aquarius embody as they go? I don't know if that one was supposed to fall. It was so gentle. I'm going to pull it. Oh, that's why it was so gentle, the butterfly. <laughs> Transformation, come through, spirit, yo. You give me butterflies. Transformation is beautiful, okay? Spirit is saying transformation is beautiful, Aqua. You're going through a transformation with this new partner. That's why spirit was telling you to go with the flow. You hear, yo, they don't know how to be quiet. 
But that's alert. That's like, you know, pay attention because you're about to go to a new level. And I'm going to prove it to you because you can see on the card. I don't know if y'all can see it. It says the number 11. And that's the same card that you have. Y'all are twin um, soulmates. I can't make it up. 1111 is here. Okay? And anybody that follows those type of numbers know. Okay? 1111 is here. This is a soulmate connection. Wow. All right, let's read what that says. The number 11 can be very significant to you guys. Um, 11 weeks. Okay. Um, and 11 months. I'm here in 11 months, you'll be married. In 11 weeks, you'll be engaged. Wow, that's real specific, uh, spirit. <laughs> Just got me talking. But y'all be sure to leave a comment, okay? I don't care if you come back 11 months later to tell me about the marriage. I'll believe you when you tell me about the engagement. I want to see the ring, okay? My email is in the description box, along with a whole bunch of my other information if you want to contact me for any personal um, discussions or questions. All right, so Butterfly Spirit says transformation is beautiful. Somebody has a butterfly tattoo as well. Um, Oracle Message says joy and beautiful lightness of being alive and creative in this world is the focus when butterfly spirit flutters before you. Transformation is inevitable. You don't have to go through this necessary transition. Didn't we see the six of swords right here? Hell yeah. I ain't playing. I ain't making this shit up. First card out the deck. <laughs> Okay, so spirit is definitely letting you know transformation is inevitable as you grow into your most beautiful, empowered self, Empress Emperor. Indeed, you will go through some uncomfortable situations and stages as you let go of all forms of life and no longer fit the new you. Even relationships must go through shifts um, to uh, to match um, your new emerging self. If you focus on the beauty and not the challenges, like focus on the good things. How does person make you feel? You know, focus on the fact that you've connected to your divine counterpart. I'm hearing that song by Alicia Keys when she says some people, um, go through life wanting true love, but they never find it. But I found it with you. That's what I'm hearing. All right. Like it's very rare when you meet your divine counterpart, your soulmate, your kindred spirit. That's why I kept calling y'all kindred spirits in the beginning. All right. It says, if you focus on the beauty and, and not the challenges, stop talking yourself too serious. Stop talking yourself too seriously, right? Love on yourself through this process and choose to be um, playful, loving, and joyous. You will soon know that miracle. You will soon know the miracle your soul wants to experience through you. Today is a day for joy. So, um, I don't know why they said a light, but okay, so a light. So be happy. Look around and see the beauty that is everywhere and in everyone, including yourself. Okay. Um, for protection, it says um, transf transformation does not have to be a traumatic or dramatic experience all the time. Things may seem to be right now, but remember change is the only true constant um, when you resist it, you create tension within you as you refuse to accept the inevitable. Like it's happening whether you like it or not. Spirit is dividing this for a bigger purpose for you and for this person as well. Um, in this moment, you might have forgotten the beauty and joy of life because you've been all alone by yourself, right? Just going with the flow of dating, but now it's going to a new level. It's getting serious, okay? That's why commitment is here and communication and change, okay? Challenges is here as well. Um, Spirit is saying, but all of this is coming in to create the new with the fool. I can't make this shit up, okay? And you got justice, okay? 
Um, Spirit is saying that remember change is the only true constant. When you resist it, you create tension within you as you refuse to accept an inevitable. In this moment, you might have forgotten the beauty and joy of life as it moves through um, its seasons. As nature dictates, you are being faced with a choice. Now you can struggle with the current conditions, okay, refusing to surrender and see through the lens. Remember I said microscopes, see through the lens. That's why I kept saying microscope. I know to some of y'all this may not look like no microscope. But this one looked like the one in science class when I was in high school. <laughs> okay, so they're saying you are being faced with choices now. You can struggle with the current conditions or you can see things through a different lens. Okay, spirit is saying that... Um, the lens of lack and loss, or you can surrender to the grace that is calling you to life um, and allow life to take its course, moving through the sadness and disappointments. Surrender all, I'm sorry, surrender will soften you, inviting you to um, bask in gratitude and see through the lens of curiosity, okay, instead of lack and loss. These are the keys to turning into the infinite potential available to you now. A butterfly spirit knows the beauty and delight you are on the brink of discovering. So let go and trust that it is there for you to succeed. I love that. That is so beautiful. Congratulations, Aquarius, okay, on this new journey, this new um awakening okay um you and your divine counterpart you and your um soulmate you and your soulmate your kindred spirits y'all both going to be going through this together so you know each one of you will have your own challenges but you're going to be doing it together okay all right, so if you enjoyed this reading, thank you so much for tuning in to Miss Mills Motivational Tarot. Don't forget to hit that comment button and leave a comment and let me know that this resonated with you, Aqua. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the entertainment and this reading, okay? Until next time, namaste. Bye, boo.